Good morning, guys. My name is Chad Coley, and it's uh, it's been a long time. Been looking forward to this for many years now. Um, I, I want to start out by reading Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. It's a familiar passage for many of you guys. Thus says the Lord, let not a wise man boast in his wisdom, and let not a mighty man boast in his might, and let not a rich man boast in his riches. But let he who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for I delight in these things, declares the Lord. When I was thinking about what to what to talk about this morning or what to what to say as I was just kind of mulling over my, my past experiences here at seminary and was thinking about my 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 call, my my salvation um, by God. I was thinking about growing up in a in a Christian home with godly parents who loved me, brought me to church. And it was uh, these experiences at church through Sunday school that I was able to hear the gospel. And even though I didn't become a Christian at a young age, uh, for me, it ended up being around uh, 18, 19 years old. I was in college and I was confronted with opposition to Christ. Uh, God used that in my life to, to draw me to himself. And it was through those experiences in, in college that I came to really have a desire to know the Lord. And as I once I was saved, I, I wanted to know him. I wanted to know God. And a godly gentleman in my church basically said, Look, son, if you if you want to know God, you need to know his word, because that's how he's revealed himself to men. And in, in consequence of that, I, I in turn applied at Bible college and I, I spent Couple years in Bible college and at Bible college, uh, I met a very godly man, a godly professor that really had a dramatic influence upon my life. In his life, I saw someone who not only knew God's word but he lived it. Um, his his prayer walks, his his speech, his actions just drove me to want to know Christ more and more. And as I as I saw him, I wanted to be an imitator of him as he imitated Christ. And it's through his influence that I came to know about the Master Seminary. And as I um, looked at where to go for seminary, basically he told me this, this is where you need to go. And uh, as I respected him and I, and I looked at Masters, I agreed, because this was an institution that, that respected God's Word, that honored God's Word, and sought to lift up God and His Word. And so a, as I applied and as the process came forth, we saw God's hand, my wife and I, as God provided means, as He provided the opportunity to come, and um, God has greatly used that in my life. And while I've been here, I can honestly say that, that I've grown in my knowledge of God's Word, and I've grown in my, my theological knowledge. But most importantly, through those, those two things, I, I've grown in appreciation for who God is. And as I've grown in the knowledge of that theology, I've just seen God's majesty and, and His glory in a, in a greater way. And I appreciate that, and, and, I, and I strive to make that my focus. But I've seen God being faithful. I've seen God being faithful to, to work in my life uh, as, he's, as he's humbled me through this experience. Um, we come in as, as guys thinking we know a lot, and as we grow and we learn and we realize the, the, the lack of knowledge we really have when it comes to God and, and, and truly who he is. Uh, I've seen God work in, in my wife and I in our life through trials, through Marital issues, through financial issues, car trouble, uh, medical issues, uh, even even miscarriages, and through those events, God, God has humbled us. He's drove us to Himself, and allow us just to see a, a greater glimpse of of His mercy, His compassion. Um, I can say, you know, that God is faithful because I've experienced His faithfulness. I can say, I I know God is compassionate because He has been compassionate upon me. For many of you guys out there, you you know what I'm talking about. You you've, you've tasted God's mercy in your life. And I think about how God has blessed me, how God has blessed my wife, or blessed me with a wife that, that loves me, that is a ministry partner, and he is the one, uh, she is the one, excuse me, that, that he has blessed me with, and I'm so thankful for her. I love her dearly, and I can't wait to see what God's going to do with us in the future. Um, he's also blessed us greatly. Uh, my wife and I uh, had got to the point in our lives where we were not, we were thinking that um, we weren't going to be able to have kids. And for, for many of you, some of you know, my wife is actually four and a half months pregnant. Uh, we're an older couple. Uh, my wife, she's going to hate me when I say that, but she's actually 38. So we, we, were, we had given up hope. And uh, God has answered our prayer and he's blessed us. And it's just one of those things that 
I just give him the glory because he not only has allowed me the opportunity to graduate the Master Seminary, but after graduation, the baby is due in July, and we're looking forward to that next part in our life. Truly, truly, God has been gracious and compassionate. And as for our future here, uh, in, in the future, we're, we're just waiting to see what God's going to do. Um, as the old hymn says, Be still, my soul, thy God doth undertake to guide thy future as he has thy past. I know that God has brought us here. He's provided for us. He's protected us. He's looked after us. And he's going to do it in the future. And guys, if I could leave you with just one thing. A wise man told me a long time ago that, that your ministry, my ministry, our ministry, is an extension of our walks with the Lord. And encourage your... Uh, seek after the Lord, and, and he, will, he will honor that. Thanks, guys. God be with you all.